Klaus Roth was awarded the Fields Medal, often called the Nobel Prize of Mathematics, in 1958. But what did he contribute to the language of the universe to earn this honor? Klaus Roth put a nail in the coffin of a centuries-old chase. Imagine trying to describe an infinite irrational number like pi. You might try 22 over 7, or even closer, 355 over 113. You can keep trying better and better fractions, but Roth proved something fundamental. There's a limit. It's like a never-ending game. No matter how clever you are, you can't get too close. There's a natural boundary to how accurately any irrational number can be mimicked by a fraction. Think of it this way. Every irrational number, like pi or square root of two, hides a secret lock within it. And fractions are keys trying to open that lock. Roth showed that only a few keys will ever fit. And after that, the lock becomes impossible to pick. His theorem didn't just solve a long-standing mathematical puzzle. It revealed a hidden boundary in the very fabric of numbers themselves. Let's also see what modern systems rely on his work and take a peek into his extraordinary life. Roth was born into a Jewish family in Germany on October 29, 1925. With the rise of the Nazi regime, his family emigrated to the United Kingdom in the 1930s to escape persecution. He attended Cambridge University, where he studied mathematics at Trinity College. By the early 1950s, when he was doing the work on diophantine approximation and irrational numbers, he was a researcher and lecturer at Cambridge, fully immersed in mathematical research. In 1953, Roth proved his theorem on arithmetic progressions, showing that any sufficiently large set of integers will always contain three numbers evenly spaced apart, like 3, 7, 11. This work was a major step in additive number theory and laid the groundwork for Zemmerady's theorem in the 1970s. Roth's theorem, published in 1955 while he was at Cambridge, turned this idea into precise mathematics. He proved that for any irrational number and for every tiny positive value epsilon, the inequality has only finitely many rational solutions. In simpler words, no matter how large the denominator Q gets, fractions can't get too close to an irrational number beyond this natural limit. This sharp boundary refined the earlier work of Thwey and Siegel and reshaped the foundations of number theory, a breakthrough so elegant and final that it earned Klaus Roth the Fields Medal just three years later in 1958. What began as pure mathematics in a Cambridge study now echoes through our digital lives. Today, Spotify shuffles your playlists so songs feel random but never repeat too predictably. Or how YouTube recommend this video. Roth's work on arithmetic progressions and irregularities of distribution makes that possible. The maths he built powers secure online banking, encrypted messaging, and error-free data storage, systems we rely on every day. Decades later, his discoveries still shape the digital world, turning chaos into patterns we can trust. After his Fields Medal, Roth continued exploring the irregularities of distribution, studying how sequences scatter or cluster. Across his career, he pursued one question. Where does order end and chaos begin? His work defined that boundary and influenced modern mathematics in ways that reach far beyond the classroom. Klaus Roth dedicated his entire life to the pursuit of mathematics. From his early days at Cambridge to his groundbreaking discoveries, his focus never wavered. 
He mentored generations of mathematicians at various institutions, shaping the field for decades, yet remained intensely private and humble. Roth's legacy isn't just in the theorems that bear his name, it's woven into the modern world around us. We pay tribute to his genius and relentless curiosity, which guided him through a lifetime devoted entirely to understanding the language of the universe. If you believe some of the world's biggest revolutions start with invisible minds, share this story so the world finally remembers Klaus Roth. And tell us in the comments, what other forgotten genius should the world rediscover next? This is Awards, where the world's greatest minds live forever. Don't just watch history, be inspired by it. Thanks for being with Awards. Subscribe to know more about international award winners and unsung heroes behind peace, science, and humanity.